me. I was just driving, thinking. Um, and the topic of this quick video is going to be called, What's on my plate? And of course, we're still talking about fasting. So let me just give you the natural form of what I'm saying at this point. I'm not talking about food, but I will say this. Uh, you got to be careful about what you put in your mouth, even when you're fasting and when you're not fasting, because food, food is, uh, what I'm thinking about right now is like when you eat certain foods and uh, you eat certain foods, I'm at the, the mailbox, so I'm just taking you all with me. Um, and it, it makes you lethargic, it makes you tired, it makes you lazy. Those type of foods you shouldn't be eating anyway because it, they're not good for you and you definitely shouldn't be eating them all the time. You know, um, because that's a trick of the enemy too. He wants, you, he wants you that way. He wants you tired and drained so that you won't hear from God. That's what he wants. So you have to make up in your mind that, uh, you know, the certain foods that, that are not, that don't, help, that don't help you but drain you, you got to let them go. You got to let that kind of food go because it's not good for you anyway. Number two, the, the more of this video is, what's on your plate uh e ezekiel chapter 3 says jesus says well the word of god says eat this scroll eat what i give you eat this scroll and you can read that in ezekiel chapter uh three when you're fasting you got to have time with jesus you have to have time reading your word. You have to have time feeding your spirit man. You feed your spirit man with the word of God. So, so many people fall off because they're, they're, they're not, you know, they're not balanced. You have to spend time with God to get strength in order to complete the fast. You must do that. You can complete the fast without it. But what's the point of the fast if you don't spend time with the Lord and eat the scroll? Eat what he said, eat what I give you. And then he handed Ezekiel a scroll. Eat the word of God. That's number two. And the third point I want to make about what's on your plate is everything that you're doing, everything that you are so busy doing, is it from God? Do you have, are you so busy doing this, running here, working two or three jobs? What's on your plate? Ask God to show you what's on that plate that he didn't ordain. You got to get rid of stuff that God didn't tell you to do. You got to narrow things down. So ask God, Lord, what, what, what's on my plate that shouldn't be? And when God tell you, take that off your plate. Stop trying to eat things that God didn't tell you to eat. And what I mean, mean metaphorically in that sense, stop doing all this stuff that God ain't told you to do. Focus on the things that God has told you to do. How would you know the things that God told you to do? You got to ask him. So number one, stop putting all that food in your body that make you lethargic, that make you tired, that make you all you want to do is go home and go to sleep. Stop putting that kind of stuff in your body. Number two, you got to spend time with the Lord. You got to eat the word of God. You have to. It makes you stronger. It makes your spirit man stronger. And with the word of God, it's easier to not fall into temptations. Then number three, everything that you're doing, you need to find out what's God and what's not him. So I just wanted to share that with you all. I hope that helps um, because that's what, you know, as I was driving, I just felt, uh, you know, some of us need that. We got to, we got to get a balanced plate a balanced plate and that's in every area of our lives. All of this stuff we're doing ain't God. All of this food we're eating, it's not God. And let me say something real quick about fasting. Just because you're eating vegetables and water and drinking water or eating vegetables and fruit don't mean that the stuff that you're eating is good for your body. See what I'm saying? So you need to pray and ask God, Lord, show me what to eat and how to eat. Okay? So 
with that being said, I just want to tell you I love you and be strong. Hold on. Don't give up on your fast. Don't give up on God and don't give up on yourselves. I love you all. Have a blessed day.